The last thing that is really challenging with trauma, and one of the reasons I love teaching about IFS and, and trauma, complex trauma, relational trauma, or attachment trauma, is the extreme symptoms that come along with it. It's what really causes trouble for most therapists. This is where the roadblocks come in. Therapists get stuck, their own parts get activated around these extreme symptoms. One of the things I love teaching about is the integration and intersection between IFS and neuroscience. And one of the things I love teaching about is hyperarousal and hypoarousal, how each extreme symptom is rooted in either, either sympathetic hyperarousal or parasympathetic withdrawal, numbing, or blunting. And I actually will be teaching different ways you can look and assess around hyper and hypoarousal and neuroscience informed IFS interventions on how we overcome them and get to those vulnerable or wounded parts. And this is one of the things that you'll learn is what parts of you get activated and how you overcome and work with and what in IFS language we say get permission from those symptoms to go to those deeper, more vulnerable places.